What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the 2020 Volkswagen Tiguan SEL Premium R-Line with 4Motion all-wheel drive. So some of you guys may have seen my 2020 Tiguan uh, review that I posted a few months ago. That was on the base model. So it you know, didn't really have many features at all. It still has some nice standard features across the board, but this is the you know top of the line, fully kitted out uh, SEO Premium R line. Everything you could possibly want on a car, on a Volkswagen, it's on this one. So uh, I'll kind of walk through everything, point out the things that are new. Now, like I mentioned in my review, a couple months ago there aren't really a lot of new features here on the 2020 it's a you know more of just an incremental refresh uh, which that's that's common that happens most of the time maybe next year we'll get a big redesign um, seeing as it'll be that that'll be the third year in a row of this uh, look or actually the that'll be the fourth year so yeah probably a refresh next year I would expect maybe uh, some of the features that we've seen on like the new uh, the new Jetta and uh, maybe a refresh to the digital dash. I don't know, we'll, we'll talk about that later, but I'm just gonna kind of walk through everything and uh, we'll, um, yeah, we'll just get started up front as always. So under the hood, you've got a 2.0 liter turbocharged TSI engine. Uh, it'll give you 184 horsepower, 27 miles per gallon highway, 20 miles per gallon city. Um, same engine that we've, we're used to seeing. It's <laughs> It's not the slowest engine I've ever driven, uh, but it's it's not it's not the fastest either. Uh, it, this is a relatively heavy vehicle as well, so uh, it drives very smoothly, but it's not the fastest uh, out there. Now, up front, you've got uh, automatic LED headlights with the adaptive front lighting system, as well as uh, daytime running lights here, LED fog lights, LED tail lights in the back as well. Um, and you've got these parking sensors around the front of the vehicle, as well as a front camera that works with the overhead view cam system and just, uh, you know, safety systems in general. Now we've got a 20 inch, kind of a two-tone aluminum alloy wheel here uh, with some really nice rims. Volkswagen always does a great job with their rims. Uh, now this is an R-Line, so you'll notice some R-Line badging around the vehicle next to the side mirrors, inside on the uh, pedals and on the steering wheel and things like that. So that is specific to the R-Line as always. Rain sensing windshield wipers with the heated wiper um, nozzles. That's fantastic for the winter when it gets cold, ice forms on those nozzles. You won't have to wait to be able to clear your windshield off because those are heated. Now, moving on over to the side mirrors, you've got heated uh, power folding side mirrors with blind spot monitoring built in, as well as a built-in uh, turn signal. Uh, so if you use the key fob, go ahead and lock that up. They'll go ahead and fold in automatically. And then when you go ahead and unlock the car, they'll fold right out for you. Super, super handy, love that feature. Over on the door handles, you've got the body color door handles with the keyless access. So you can just push your finger on the little button and it'll lock. And then to unlock it, you just place your hand inside and you can open it. Up top, we've got silver roof rails and a panoramic power tilting and sliding moonroof. So now moving on to the back of the vehicle, there's not really anything new here. Again, we're dealing with a, a very uh, recently updated model. You've got a windshield wiper here on the back. You've got the LED taillights, like I mentioned. You've got your Tiguan badging, SEL badging, Volkswagen badging, 4Motion all-wheel drive badging. You've got your parking sensors around the back. You've got this kind of black bumper here with a little chrome piece, and then everything else is body colored. All that we're used to seeing. Um, the badge doesn't, you know, you open the trunk, but you do have a rear camera in the back, um, as well as that little nozzle to where you can spray the rear camera off if it gets dirty. You've got a button here to open the rear gate. and then you've got a button here to close it. Now, the space back here, it's not great, especially with the third row up. It's basically unusable at that point. Um, so unless you absolutely need the third row for transportation purposes and, and getting people in the vehicle, wouldn't recommend using it. I would go ahead and just fold it down uh, because even when it's folded up, the amount of leg room in the third row is uh, uh, not there. Um, but with it folded down, you do have a pretty decent amount of trunk space back here. I've got all my big camera gear, tripod bag, all these cases, everything fits fine in here. You've got this little one touch um, bar that you can pull to lower the seats, which is super convenient. You've got a cargo shade back here. Uh, you've got 
and probably a spare tire under here. Let's see. Yep, and additional cargo shade down there um, with a cool like little tilting feature as well. Now, one thing that I do think is new, um, at least I don't remember it being available last year. So I didn't see an official documentation on this being new. So don't quote me on it being new, but I don't remember it in the past. And that is the ability to not only open the lift gate with the key fob, but also close it. I'm pretty sure in my 2019 TIG1 review, I tried to do it and it didn't work. The lift gate button to raise it. Now, unfortunately, you can't hold the button to close the lift gate. It doesn't work. At least I can't get it to work. But Maybe I was doing it wrong, but I didn't even see it advertised. So, but now this year you can press and hold, the rear gate will open. And that's just with a little, the button on the key fob. And then if you press and hold again, boom, closes. Super convenient, I love that. Especially with the ability to remote start and all that kind of stuff right from the key fob. It's awesome. Don't think that was available in 2019. So there's a, a new feature that I don't see many people talking about, you know, if it is actually new and I didn't just miss it last year. So that's pretty much everything there. Uh, I'll put the, you know, trunk space on the screen for you so you can see all that kind of uh, detail information, but that's pretty much everything on the outside. Let's go ahead and hop inside the cabin. All right, guys, now that I'm a little bit warmer inside the cabin, it's freezing today. It was 67 degrees yesterday. It is 29 degrees today. I'm not liking it at all. It's not ideal for shooting video outside either. But let's talk about this cabin. This cabin is one of the cleanest and most tech packed uh, compact SUVs you'll see out there, period. So starting up front, as always, we've got a leather wrapped steering wheel here with some nice uh, white accent stitching, super clean layout. You've got your adaptive cruise control buttons over here, as well as a volume uh, rocker for your media. You've got your voice assistant button and then your controls for navigating the digital dash on this side, as well as a skip button for your media tracks as well. Other than that, there's not a whole lot on the steering wheel. You don't have paddle shifters or anything like that. Uh, you've got your um, wiper controls over here, your light controls over here. Uh, it, the steering wheel is heated, which is awesome. Um, I actually am gonna turn that on. And you've got the R-Line badging, as I mentioned, outside, kind of scattered around the cabin in various places. So that is the steering wheel. Now over on the left-hand side, you've got your light controls. We're used to seeing that. You can put them on auto, blast your brights, whatever you wanna do. Moving on up, you've got the classic Volkswagen digital dash. Love this thing. This is the version two. So uh, the one that has the physical gauges on the side. So you've got your temperature, oil temperature gauge, and then your gas gauge, and then you've got a super clean design. You can modify it with these little arrows, to change what information you see on the screen, which is super cool. You can see um, how many miles left you have on the tank, how long you've traveled, what radio station you're listening to, what gear you're in, your speed, all your safety features, your adaptive cruise control. You can do full screen navigation right on the thing if you have built-in navigation, which obviously this is the top trim, so it has built-in navigation. Super cool, you can make that full screen. And then you can have these nice little animations to see your speed gauge and uh, all that good stuff just right there on the screen. Absolutely love, love the digital dash. So it's super clean, super classic, and I like it a lot. Moving on over to the entertainment center, you've got Volkswagen's uh, Infotainment 3, their, their updated system, super clean layout. Uh, you've just got radio, media, your built-in navigation, Sirius XM travel link, uh, Bluetooth connectivity, you've got your vehicle controls, App Connect, so Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, um, your sound controls, your climate controls, you've got an images page where you can view things off of an SD card that you put in the glove box, and then your settings. Now, since this isn't any different really than 2019 into 2020, I'm not gonna do a real deep dive on this. I've made now three, four, five videos all about the different features in here. And if you wanna see those, uh, just check the channel, it's there. I'll also leave links in the description, but I've made a overview of updated uh, Apple CarPlay, so iOS 13 Apple CarPlay on the Tiguan. I've made a full review of the all new Carnet system, which I'll talk about in just a second. I've made a top tech features on the 2020 uh, Tiguan, or the 2019 Tiguan, excuse me. 
that uh, I talk about all this kind of stuff. And I've made uh, secret features, hidden features on the Tiguan part one and two for 2019. And I went through all the settings in here and found like every little thing you could possibly want to know about. So if you guys are interested in any of that, check the, the suggested videos, links in the description and the channel for all that kind of good information that I've made about the Tiguan and all its many, many features. So I'm just going to keep it kind of um, broad strokes here. Everyone knows what the radio does. Everyone knows what media does. Navigation, everyone should, yeah, that kind of speaks for itself. The vehicle menu will give you some nice vehicle stats. Um, you can see since you started the car since your last refuel um, all your different driving habits if you go into settings you can also personalize a lot so you can um, view tire pressure winter warnings you can do driver personalization you can turn on your adaptive front lighting system you can turn on your automatic headlight control uh, you can turn the coming home and leaving home feature so it'll leave your lights on for an extended period of time after you get out of the car to help you maybe seed your front door or things like that but uh, other than that, I mean, traffic settings kind of just shows you traffic reports and accidents and things like that. Sound just lets you customize the nine speaker Fender premium audio system. Um, so you can kind of go through and EQ that how you like it. Climate control is cool. I've talked about this in my other videos, but uh, it shows you on screen what you're controlling with the um, manual controls here, the dual zone Climatronic. Uh, climate control system. It's all all physical buttons down here that you can control everything, but it also gives you a visual readout of that up here on the screen. Super cool. And you can turn your heated steering wheel on and off from here too, which is cool. And then with the rear camera system, you've got your standard rear camera where you can see the lines that kind of adjust based on which way you're turning the wheel and the color level markers to tell you how close an obstacle is to your vehicle. Additionally, if you push the menu button, it will bring up the overhead view cam, which uses the rear camera, the cameras that are built into either of the side mirrors and the front camera to give you a 360 degree view above your vehicle. Additionally, you can use the different controls on the side uh, of the screen here that let you switch between different parking uh, assistants or parking pilots. Uh, now, it, it'll kind of tell you based on how you turn the wheel uh, if you're close or if you're right on, and you'll see it here on the screen demonstrated. But those are cool to have really handy too when you're trying to park in those tight spaces. So that is the infotainment center. Super clean, super nice. I love Volkswagen setup. Down here I mentioned the dual zone climatronic uh, automatic climate control. You got your heated um, seat options as well for both the driver side and the passenger side. Moving on down, I talked about this in my 2020 base model review they've added some additional connectivity options. Now, see if you guys can follow this, because I can't. In the base model, they give you no USB-A ports, zero, but two USB-C ports, which USB-C is the newer standard of USB, not the older one. USB-A is the older standard. USB, everything is pretty much moving to USB-C. So I complimented, I gushed over Volkswagen and saying, uh, I'm glad they're moving this way. They're, they're future-proofing this vehicle. And then I get this one, the top trim, and I got two USB-A ports and zero USB-C ports. What kind of logic is that? So unfortunately, if you want USB-C ports, you have to pay the least amount of money. I don't know. That seems crazy to me. So two USB-A ports, no USB-C ports, unfortunately. You do have an aux cord input and a 12 volt outlet down there, as well as something you don't have in the base model, which is new for 2020, which is a Qi enabled wireless charging pad. And there it goes, it's charging. So those are your connectivity options there. No um, connectivity inside the glove box, unfortunately. Now moving on down, you've got a push to start engine. So when you use the all new Volkswagen CarNet app, which I outlined in this video, um, you get the free remote start package for I think five years and it allows you to connect your your phone to your car and you can remote start your vehicle turn your temperature up or down from your smartphone from anywhere super cool electronic parking brake eight speed automatic transmission with tiptronic and sport mode you've got your you can turn your auto start stop engine off you can turn on your parking cameras just by pushing this single button and it will give you your overhead view cam and then you can get your drive mode selector down here so you got snow normal 
no, uh, off-road and then off-road custom. So those are your different driving modes. Turn that on and off if you wish. Two cup holders, nothing fancy. Uh, glove box, nothing special either. You've got your SD card slots as well as your CD slot in there. Uh, and there's a light in there, which is cool. <clears throat> Up top, you've got this auto dimming rear view mirror with a compass and these universal garage door uh, opening controls here. Up top, you've got control for your panoramic power tilting and sliding moonroof, as well as you can open and close the shade. And then you've got your SOS buttons up top as well with your dome lights, all that kind of good stuff. Nothing fancy on the visors. So as far as seating options go, you've got leather seats, both in the first and second rows. The driver's side is a 10-way power with lumbar support and position uh, memory, and then the passenger is a six-way manually adjustable seat. Both of the uh, front seats are heated, rear seats unfortunately are not. You do have a second row of vents and a single USB-A port in the back row. Yes, one. One for all your devices in the back, which that's where your devices are going to be. They gotta change that next year. Gotta get more USB ports. And give me some USB-C ports, please. Now I mentioned the third row. I would never use the third row, but I understand that there are some situations where a larger family with smaller kids may take advantage of that um, because they can, because it's really only suitable for really short people or small kids. Um, Cause if you're, you're gonna have trouble getting back there if you're tall um, or even just like average height, like six foot, um, but like sitting back there comfortably it's not really possible. So I wouldn't recommend using the third row unless you absolutely have to. I'd leave those seats down and use that extra space for storage. All right, now it's also worth pointing out that Volkswagen did change their warranty for 2020. Now it used to be six years or 72,000 miles, whichever came first, but now it is four years or 50,000 miles, whichever comes first. Uh, so that's a little bit different, but you do get two years of complimentary maintenance now included. So those are the changes to the warranty. So that is pretty much everything here on the 2020 Volkswagen Tiguan uh, SEL Premium. Now, since this is the premium, it's a little bit pricier than, you know, the other ones we could look at. This one comes in at 40,375 for literally everything you could possibly want. Uh, the base model one that I looked at in my other video started around 26,000, uh, you know, roughly. So there's quite a lot of play in there to where you could really customize to fit based on your budget. But even the base model, and obviously this one, have a lot of standard features that are fantastic. So on the base model, you got the front assist, the side assist, and the rear traffic alert safety features standard, uh, as well as uh, standard Wi-Fi hotspot, which is fantastic. That's new for 2020, completely standard. That CarNet uh, free five-year remote start plan. Again, check the video above to see the full breakdown of that. But you get a lot of nice standard features on no matter what take one you pick. But obviously, this one's the primo. This one is the one that's gonna give you everything you could ever want. A couple things I want them to add next year, apart from just a, a refresh, and I think the refresh uh, will look a lot like the new um, Atlas Cross Sport. If you haven't seen that, I'll put a picture on screen here. I think it's gonna have a lot of these kind of stylings. But uh, I also would like them to add the 10 color interior ambient lighting. I'd love if the base or the um, top trim level pulled the massage seats over from the Ardeon. Love that feature. Wish they'd add that in. Uh, and then maybe uh, some additional charging ports in the back, uh, additional USB C ports in the front. Maybe do away with the uh, USB A ports altogether. And uh, maybe a little bit more of a high definition rear camera. Now it's not terrible, but there's a lot of other rear cameras out on the market that are a lot better than this one. So those are the kind of features I'd like to see in the 2020 model. All right guys, and that is the 2020 Volkswagen Tiguan SEL Premium R-Line with four motion all wheel drive. Drop a like on the video if you loved it. Tell me in the comments down below, what's your favorite feature about the Tiguan? Are you gonna get your hands on one, maybe a 2019 for a little less money? Let me know down in the comments, let's have a conversation. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button to be among the first to see our full review of every Volkswagen model as soon as they hit our lots. We'll see you in the next one.